Right, forget about waiting for signals before approaching women. Any of you that have been watching my videos, you know I like to go out there and talk to women, right? I think the best place to meet a woman is on the street and not in some club, right? Face to face, in person, when they're not looking their best. And I've been watching videos for a while, you know, and dating pickup artists say, oh, um, you should wait for signals before approaching a woman. Now, I think that's rubbish because if you're walking down the street, you have the woman, there's, you're not going to really have much time for a woman to be giving you signals. You know, just because she's making eye contact with you, that's not much of a signal to me. She's probably making eye contact with you because you're making eye contact with her. You know what I mean? Unless she walks walking up towards you and she's saying, hi, hi, uh, then obviously, then, then I will say, yeah, that's a signal. But don't wait for signals because... If you if if before you need to approach it before you approach a girl if you need a signal that's called for I'm not confident so I need an invitation listen I may I I am the invitation I made the invitation I'm not waiting for no girl to give me an invitation to come over and approach her but you're basically saying oh you know I'm not sure if I'm gonna get rejected or not so therefore I need to be sure. I need to be sure that when I go over there, there's an 80% chance that this girl wants to talk to me. Man, listen, go over there. If she doesn't like you, you're going to find out. But there's no way, right, I'm going to be standing like somewhere like in the gym or something like that or just walking past, like walking towards a girl on the street and waiting for a signal. No, make her move. Listen, I've had girls, right, stare at me from across the road and I've gone up to them and approached them and they're like, no, I don't want to talk to you. So... And that to me, that was a signal. So I'm not even going off no signals. And I've had girls not look at me and, and got their numbers and stuff. So, you know, imagine you're in the gym, right? You're in the gym. So, so what are you going to do? So what? So, so you're just going to stand there staring at a girl for five minutes. Like, oh, oh, she kind of looked in my direction, but she didn't look for a split second longer than two seconds. Listen, if you see a girl in the gym, go and approach her. Women don't give out signals. You know why? Well, a lot of women, women do give out signals, but do you know why most women don't give out signals? Because most men don't take them, because most men are not confident. You know, I've had signals before, but but with mo most most men are not confident enough to go and speak to that woman, or go and approach that woman. So what's the point of her giving that signal? It's just a waste of her time. A lot of guys are not confident, so that's why women, they don't bother waste their time giving out signals. Most guys don't take the invitation. No, make, you, you create that invitation, take some initiative, only someone who isn't confident needs to wait for a signal. Why, why do you need to wait for a signal for? Just make a move. Now, it does work when you don't wait for a signal. Because I've only ever had two proper girlfriends. If I could say I've got two official, uh, had two official girlfriends. So, you know, I had girls in between and stuff, obviously. But I've only had, like, two proper official girlfriends. Now, my first girlfriend, I went to go and visit my friend at court. You know, he got himself in some trouble, so I went to go and visit him. Now, my ex-girlfriend, obviously the first one, when I was going up to court, she was standing there. She didn't look at me once. Now, I'm saying this girl had her back to the wall and she was staring at the wall for a full 20 minutes. This girl didn't look at me once, or so I didn't see her looking at me. So, you know, even my friend was like, who's that? So uh, eventually, you know, I plucked up the courage because... I'm not going to not approach this girl because of, you know, a past experience or the experience before. Oh, I didn't get a signal and I didn't get this girl's number. No, every girl's different. So I plucked up the courage, walked up to her, spoke to her, got her number and the rest was history. Second time, um, my second ex-girlfriend. So they're Krispy Kreme. Any of you don't know Krispy Kreme is in Enfield. Walking, she was walking towards me. This girl wasn't even looking at me, looking down on the floor, looking everywhere else apart from me. I stopped her, spoke to her, and, you know, we hit it off from there. Now, we didn't become boyfriend and girlfriend straight away, but eventually we were at a stage where we could have called each other official. So it does work. You do not need to sit there and wait, oh, oh, um, is that is that a signal? Because when you stand there looking at a girl, you could kind of, like, build up anxiety because you, you're, you're unsure. But listen, confident men are sure. I, I'm confident. I don't care whether or not that girl likes me or if I know whether or not that girl likes me. I'm going to find out. There's no way I could be sitting there thinking, oh, I didn't approach her because I think she didn't like me. No, you don't know how it's going to go. Trust me, were you a psychic? 
Are you a psychic? So how are you gonna know? Some people don't don't give out the right impression, right? So you're not a psychic. You don't know whether or not you're that girl's type. If you like her, find out. Go and find out her name. Yeah. Some people say don't go around and talk to lots of girls and stuff like that. No. How, if you don't go around and talk to lots of girls, how are you supposed to get a good? How are you supposed to get good at approaching women if you've never done it before? You need practice. Yeah. The only time I'd say wait for signals is if you're somewhere like in a club. Where you're in a position where, you know, that, that people will find that appropriate to go out and look for people. Because in the gym, some people think it's not appropriate to approach people in the gym. Well, I don't care. I approach women in the gym as well. But, you know, in the club is more appropriate because that's where people go out. But a lot of women go to the club. They don't even want to get approached. They treat it like real life Instagram. They just want to go there, get validation from guys trying to swarm them and get their likes up, get their confidence up, get their self-esteem up. They don't want to get approached by... Um, they don't, they don't want to give out their number to men. But that's the only time you can wait for signals because you're in a surrounding where that woman will come over to you. Because I've seen it. I've been in a place and women have come over and stuff. So that's when you can wait for signals. But if you're on the street, you have got no, you have not got the time to be um, waiting for signals. That girl will walk past you and not remember you. Approach a woman. Yeah. If you see a woman at the bus stop, approach her. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change your station.